Our next speaker is Ray uh, Agarwal. Uh, due to the technical issues, he is not uh, able to contact us online, so we gonna play a pre-recorded video. Uh, in a world where machine learning shapes our decisions and experience, Sray highlights the seismic shifts in AI development. He addresses the critical need for responsible AI integration through the uh, data science life circle, emphasizing fairness, uh, accountability, privacy, and transparency. Sray's expertise extends beyond encompassing wide vital uh, aspects like robustness, reliability, and uh, social well-being, crafting a framework that aligns AI advancement with human-centric values. Join us to explore the transformative potential and the ethical dimensions of responsible AI 2.0. Enjoy. Today, we are going to talk about a very, very important topic, which is called responsible AI in the age of generative AI. So with technology and with generative AI having the right influx in our life, be it professional, personal life, there has been a lot of concerns which has been raised talking about the ethical and responsible use of AI. So when we see AI is the use of AI is increasing manifold in multiple countries, especially in developing countries and underdeveloped countries. However, along with use of AI in your lives and in your companies and in your profession, the use, the, the, the incidences or the number of AI incidences and controversies coming up is also increasing rather than the concerns around AI is creating more uh, issues than the usage of AI. Talking about this particular image, so if you see this particular image, this particular image got an um, award at a prestigious painting competition and interestingly this particular image was developed by an AI tool. Now when you talk about this particular image, we understand that when a generative AI developed this tool, it was inspired by work of many other artists. However, no other artist was attributed to this particular image. So the first concern here is copyright and attribution. How would you ensure that the kind of image you develop through AI or not only image, audio, video, text, anything or combination, everything, how do you ensure that you give right kind of attribution and how can you ensure that the right copyright is being tagged to that particular outcome or that particular output from your AI tool? Similarly, human in the loop. So if somebody misdiagnoses you or also basically using an AI algorithm or if you get an unfavorable decisions using an AI algorithm based on an output of an AI algorithm, who should be made accountable for? Who, which human should be made accountable for? The person who have developed the tool, the person who has developed the algorithm, the person who has, was working on that particular algorithm, the company which is using it, the person who is using it, the entire country, the entire industry. So that is one particular concerns here that is called accountability. So moving to the second one, accountability is a very, very important concerns when it comes to AI and AI usage. Now, out of this four image, only one image is original. Now, this is very, very tough to find. Now, this is particularly an image. You can even do it through audio and video. So deep fake is very, very uh, concerning problem. It can actually create manipulation. It can create, uh, you know, Sentiment manipulation, market manipulation, disturb social fabric, create a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of anti-social activity in a society. Now, that brings me to something called safety. How do you take care of safety concerns, which is the third biggest concern when it comes to AI tools? This is also very, very important, which comes, which is the fourth concern, which is called discrimination and fairness. How do you ensure that the AI algorithm which you are using is completely non-biased, non-discriminatory free, that it does not have two different decisions for male, female, or different genders, different race, different ethnicity, people of different colors. 
So for example, if you go to JDV AI tool and write, hey, give me five jokes on females, it will not give you any joke. But when you write, give me five jokes on male, it will immediately give you five jokes. Similarly, we'll see a couple of more examples uh, later, um, later in the session, which talks about bias and discrimination. Coming to the five, fifth one, which is the fifth most important concern is stereotypical behavior. So if you see the images below, I wrote uh, this prompt to, uh, to a generative AI engine and talked that, hey, give me images of flight attendants. So you see all the flight attendants are female. Give me images of successful nurses. All nurses are females. Give me images of primary school teachers. All images would be of females. So interestingly, when you see AI output is very, very biased and very um, stereotypical in behavior. On top, if you see, I wrote a prompt which is generate future version of Donald Duck merged with Hulk. And I got this particular image. Now, I don't understand this image is toxic, hurtful, biased. Whom should I attribute? How do I distribute the money which I generate from this particular image? So there are a lot of toxicity, bias and hurtfulness you need to check. That is your prompt or output. Toxic in nature? Is it neutral in nature? Is it biased in nature? Is it hurtful in nature? It is uh, stereotypical in nature and so on and so forth. So combining all these five brings me to need of responsible AI. So when it comes to responsible AI, number one, you need to ensure that you have right kind of responsible AI to remove governance so, or to remove limited governance, not governance for that matter, of course, to increase the ambit of governance, to ensure that governance is there end to end. It is there for anything which you call AI, be it data science, machine learning, predictive modeling, anything which is AI, you should have right kind of governance. To ensure that you have right kind of copyright and legal liabilities. So you know that you have checked for copyright, you have checked for attribution, you are safe from any kind of legal trouble. To increase consumer trust, to ensure that your consumer has high trust, you have right kind of responsibility, you have right kind of transparency, right kind of explainability, privacy, everything, and all these are made public. Safety concern that your data is not leaked, the data is not attacked, the model has not been attacked and thus the outcome which I am getting is fair and discrimination free. Now talking about again AI with responsibility, we have seen uh, top five concerns. Along with that, you have human in the loop, you have social well-being, you have explainability, you have transparency, you have hallucinations, there are multiple other concerns which needs to be addressed. So we have developed toolkits which allows you to address explainability, transparency, discrimination, privacy, hallucination, toxicity, social well-being, right kind of training and human in the loop. Everything as a package which can be implemented over the entire AI life cycle. Similarly, there's one more example where AI was used. Uh, basically, AI was using images captured by a drone in a city in India during COVID. So there are a lot of concern about privacy. What will you do of the image? Did you take my permission before gathering the image? Where will you store the image? Who all will have access to this image? What is the uh, model doing? What is the algorithm? Is the algorithm biased? What is the error rate of algorithm? Who is the person we need to reach out if we don't if we want our image to be purged after some time? So those kind of concerns were very very high. Similarly, you see this is a particular data science life cycle. Start from business understanding, you, then you take the data, you do some pre-processing, you develop a model, you evaluate a model, you select a model, you do the prediction, you deploy the model, create multiple models, and then start monitoring. Now, what if I want to do this responsibly. So when I do responsibly, first thing, I need to define why, what is responsible AI. I need to ensure data privacy. I need to remove data bias altogether. I need to increase explainability and privacy. 
I need to remove model bias, remove discrimination, ensure right kind of privacy, Im uh, remove all kind of bias and discrimination from prediction, and then monitor everything at large. So when it comes to risk, there are typically three kind of risk, regulatory risk, reputational risk, and revenue risk. However, the most important risk out here is reputational risk. So imagine a situation where you released a PR, press release, or when you have, you know, launched a marketing campaign or launched a video or audio or an image which has been generated by AI. And suddenly somebody stands up and say, hey, this has a lot of influence from my work, but you did not give any references or attribution to me. You won't believe the kind of reputational destruction you will have. People on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, social media will go ballistic and thrash that company and you will see a downfall of your share market prices. So similarly, you may escape regulatory risk and revenue risk, but reputational risk would lead to re regulatory risk and revenue risk in long term. So problem of attribution, privacy, how safe is my data? Auditability, how can I audit my model? Uh, potential of emergent risky behaviors, data security, or opacity, explainability, security, hallucination are very, very important concerns. I'll pause here for five seconds and then move forward. This talks about everything which we have talked about in last couple of minutes and talks about how do you or how do you define this kind of problem areas. Okay, uh, so I guess most of you must have faced this kind of question sometime in your life if you are dealing with any kind of AI technology. This is very important. So there's this particular uh, blue color or green color box which talks about ethics committee, which has your leadership, which has your data science team, which ensures that everything which you do is completely ethical and responsible. It implements bias detection technique, in, uh, enforces audit, enforces ethical design, conduct data quality checks, privacy, legality, hallucinations, toxicity, and then pass it on to your leadership, which ensure that you, does your business strategy aligns with ethical enabled AI? Did you have right kind of data governance for responsible AI? Did you have right kind of accountability and human in the loop, also known as HITL? You do, do, do you have right kind of ethical partnership and collaboration? Do you have right kind of social well-being and planet inclusiveness before it goes to an end consumer or external stakeholders? So this particular framework will ensure right kind of checks and balance at multiple levels before it is exposed to an external environment. How do you enable responsible AI practice among your AI team? Number one, you nudge the data scientists. You ask them the right questions that, hey, did you check for, say, data quality? Did you check for data privacy? Did you check for equality of all? Did you check for disparate impact? Then you talk about evidences. Do you have right kind of guidelines? Do you have APIs, notebook, research paper, toolkit, use cases? Is everything auditable? Do you have right kind of model documentation? Do you have template for model documentation? Do you have right data science lifecycle with RAI components? Do you have right kind of privacy, data privacy, model privacy? Do you have uh, industry specific example? So once you have all this, you'll be able to actually implement and accelerate the process of responsible AI implementation. The next is how can, how is the world responding to generative AI? Now, these you must have seen, this have gone old. Um, by, by now, you know, uh, there has been a lot of issues coming up. So every day, new regulations, uh, new concerns are being raised. So you, you can actually vibe the amount of concerns people have in the right way of using AI. So this is again, how do you ensure that you have right kind of AI practices? You need to create an AI governance council. You need to have uh, ethics council. You need to ensure that data privacy and security is prioritized. And you need to have right kind of and thorough 
risk assessment and review and that also regularly. That brings me to the end of my presentation. I am Shreya Garwal and you can contact me on LinkedIn for any uh, questions. I can be found on LinkedIn as Shreya Garwal. I spell my name as S-R-A-Y-A-G-A-R-W-L. Thank you so much.